2002 with William Raynan at our house, Amber and me. Um, there's a beautiful ferry standing that is floating right there next to you, and there's a woman from India. And when you see the spirits, it's really true. You're not making it up. And other people won't always understand, so you don't have to tell them. But you see the spirit and you see the images. When Sandy was talking to you earlier about going into the crystal cave, in your dreams, there is a big crystal cave you go to. And, yes, and in that dream, that's a real crystal cave. Many of us have gone there, and it's almost like a safe place for people who are on a spiritual path. And when you're in the crystal cave, and why you like minerals so much, is you remember your time visiting with the spirit, visiting with the gods in the crystal cave. So that's, that's fun. Yeah. And it's so, okay, talk to She the, always prays to the fairies. Ah, well, good, because there's a fairy right there. She goes, She's always with you. God, fairies, angels. Yeah. My granddaughter, who's younger than you, she's only six, she also sees the fairies a lot. And when she comes to my house, she always says, Grandpa, look, there's fairies over there. I don't always see them, but when she points them out, then I can see color and stuff. It's people like you that are helping some of us old fogies remember that the other dimensions and the other levels really exist. We need you, young people, very much. Blog Talk Radio. Bobby, you're so great at my visions and what I see in my um, my meditations that I would love two things. First of all, about two weeks ago, I saw what looked like a very galactic character with this wonderful kind of headpiece on. And um, he came very quickly, but he was very different and felt really exciting. And we have a picture. What is the question, my darling? Oh, no, I was just curious as to if there was any message from him or where he was actually from. or Not a read so much from where it is from. But the connection into you and your capacity to expand yet again your ability to vision quest new and different energies as you expand your awareness of the multitude of the multidimensional possibilities of the format that energy can take in awakening your awareness as your vision begin to expand into newer and differenter formats you are allowing yourself to play with possibilities, releasing judgment about whether it's quote-unquote real or true, and just being in the ethers of all that is in the infinite number of possibilities that potentiality can take in your imagination and in the universe at large. Oh, that sounds fantastic. It was a wonderful energy. It didn't feel weird at all. Mm-hmm. And um, and there was a wonderful old man that came about two or three days ago that was just looking at me. Very old man, a lot of wrinkles all over his face, but it just felt like another one of those sort of elders, you know, that like a, like a guide, some sort of yes. old. That, that's what I felt. That was a spirit guide energy, yes. And it was uh, definitely he, an elder. You were absolutely correct on that one. Before you said that, we were seeing elder um, yeah. shaman. Ah, that's yeah, yeah. Almost like a like like how the old um, weathered Mayan faces are. Yes. You know that 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 wisdom. Oh, yes. fantastic! All right, yeah, I did. I just read. Well, hello. You can talk to me at another time. <laughs> I felt yes. that. Um, 
Bobby, more Maori I, I, energy. Oh, so that was interesting too, because that's very similar. I knew it was a, it was an indigenous person. I could feel it. Yeah. Um, Today is twelve, 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 and um, decided to ring up my friend Bobby G, and ask for some spiritual up guide on my book, The Star Seeds, and what she sees in the future of that. So here goes. Trisha was telling us about her star seeds. So we're going to see what Trisha, she says, star seeds beyond time, Trisha Kelly at www.amazon.com. Yay, Trisha. Okay, let's see what you got to say, my darling, coming at you. It's always, it's always one. Okay, Trisha, my darling, first let us speak of the book. We are so pleased at the work you are doing at the way you are finding to share the spiritual message with children and other individuals because you speak not only to physical children but the children in all people. And you are finding so many creative, delightful ways to reach out in this time of transition where more of the people in the Hollywood vein are actually being willing to present positive energy spiritual messages about the transitions that are coming about. And we are powerfully using you, Tricia, to help us get messages across about the possibility of being in joy during the transition instead of in fear. And Star Seeds is a wonderful, wonderful possibility. And your other books speak to ways for children to, to open to the opportunities and the possibilities. That was Bobby G., who is on Blog Talk Radio, and she can be found at www.bobbyg.com. She's a wonderful inspiration and channels the great masters of all time she can tap into all of the higher information and it's always wonderful confirmation